Oh, hey there. You caught me working out. Well, I'm Victor Brady, and welcome back here on the Garnet Sports Show. Speaking of running, there's Jacob Phillips, our top cross country runner here at Swarthmore College. Jacob. Hey, Brady. How are you doing today? Pretty good. How are you? You know, see, see, man, do you have a couple of minutes to, to do a little interview? Definitely. All right, so we're here now with, with Jacob Phillips, uh, who finished 10th at the Centennial Conference Championship Meet and then 7th in the entire region. Um, so can you talk about the difference between those two races, uh, jumping up to the third Centennial runner uh, in the region meet? Well, I think the main difference was, you know, the lack of four inches of snow. Um, somehow, I'm from Indiana, so I'm used to running in snow, and the Jordan Schillett, who won the Centennial Conference Meet, is from Florida, and so I don't know how he managed to deal with all of that snow. But um, it, was, it was a tough race, and there was one downhill we went through, and I fell off the lead pack, and I, I never caught up from that because I was a little, I didn't want to fall in like all of the snow, so I slowed down a little bit there, and I never um, made it back up to the group. So going into regionals, I um, stuck on that first group. Uh, the first two miles, was, it was a huge pack. It was pretty fluid, and then at right at the two miles, it you know, settled into... I settled into my place, which was seventh, and I stayed alone in seventh for the rest of the race. So it was right where I wanted to be, so I'm glad I could move it back up from what I did at conferences. Now you're preparing for your first ever NCAA championship meet, so what are you looking forward to with that? Um, I'm just looking forward to a new kind of competition. Um, it'll be exciting to start out with, you know, a hundred other runners who are at just as fast as I am or faster, and so it's really just going to be all in the moment, who's going to go out, who's going to be able to take it, because all of these guys are going to be incredibly fast, incredibly competent, and I think it's exciting to run with that kind of competition and to be part of that level of competition. You talk about not wanting to, to fall on that going down on that, that snowy downhill, uh, but rumor has that before you were really an elite cross-country runner, you had a, a pretty nice fall of your own, so oh, yeah. what happened there? Uh, well, I was, I was six years old, and I was um, my second day in Australia, uh, in Sydney Harbor on this boat, and my two older brothers, I'm significantly younger than my other siblings, uh, they all went downstairs because it was like pitch black in the basement of the boat. And you know, I wanted to be cool, so I followed them downstairs and got scared. And I started like running up the stairs. And I just like um, hit my like chin on one of the like, on one of these steps and bit straight through my tongue. Um, luckily, it like managed to hang on by like a string. And in a couple days, it was healed because your tongue's apparently the fastest healing part of your body. But I still can't taste bitter foods, or I don't have taste buds along the back of my tongue. It's all scar tissue. Well, best of luck in the NCAA championship meet, and thank you so much for joining us here today. Thanks, Victor. A quick ECAC weekend recap before we conclude today's show. Now, the Swarthmore men's soccer team traveled to Alvernia to take on the Knights in the semifinals of the ECAC South Tournament and came away 3-1 victors, setting up a final match with the Madai Mavericks. Well, the teams were scoreless through the first 103 minutes before a Madai foul set up a Micah Rose free kick just on top of the 18-yard box. The senior curled the kick off the left post and in for the game winner, 1-0 Swarthmore, and Rose was named the most valuable performer for his ECAC South tournament. Swarthmore volleyball team traveled to Bethany for the ECAC semifinals and fell in straight sets to the Bison the second consecutive year that Swarthmore has fallen to Bethany in the ECAC semis. Thank you so much for joining us once again on the Garnet Sports Show. For everyone here at the Swarthmore Athletic Department and Sports Information Office, I'm Victor Brady saying so long, we'll see you next time, and go Garnet.